everything inside me. Eurovision is an international song contest with massive appeal and influence. It has been a TV staple for decades, it includes over 50 countries, and it is watched by hundreds of millions of viewers every year. Considering these facts, you better believe that the elite will use this unmissable platform to push its agenda. In my past video, I highlighted the blatant symbolism on display during the show which culminated with a disturbing ritualistic performance by Madonna. This is a screenshot of Madonna's performance at Eurovision 2019, featuring masked dancers being killed by Madonna's breath of death, combined with a Statue of Liberty breaking down. Some say that this performance predicted the coming of 2020 crisis. Eurovision was cancelled in 2020 due to the crisis, but it is right back at it this year. In November 2020, the Cyprus Broadcasting Corporation, or CYBC, announced Greek singer, Elena Tsagrinou, as the Cypriot representative for the Eurovision Song Contest 2021, with the song, El Diablo. Prior to her selection, Tsagrinou called Eurovision an institution that she'd been following for many years. She added that, if the right song was found, it would be her pleasure and honor to compete. Apparently, the right song was found, and it is about the singer giving her heart to the devil. On February 28, 2021, the song was released, and it was not well received. The Orthodox Church stated that the song had a satanic message, and Cypriots took to the streets to protest it. On the other hand, Cyprus's state broadcaster about falling in love with a bad boy. The singer even added that it is about abusive relationships and Me Too movement. Here's a look at the song. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. This is a promo image for El Diablo. Pretty infernal. This song does not require in-depth analysis. It's an ultra-generic pop song that actually sounds like Lady Gaga's Bad Romance. Coincidentally enough, Bad Romance is also about a toxic relationship with satanic undertones. The song was written by industry veterans Jimmy Joker Thornfeld, Laurel Barker, Oaksa, and Thomas Stengard. Here are the lyrics. Chorus. I fell in love, I fell in love. I gave my heart to El Diablo, El Diablo. I gave it up, I gave it up. Because he tells me I'm his angel, I'm his angel. Those are the two verses. Tonight we gonna burn in a party. We wild as fire that's on the loose. Hotter than sriracha on our bodies. Ta taco tamale, yeah, that's my mood. All this spicy melts my icy edges. Baby, it's true. Tonight we gonna burn in a party. It's heaven and hell with you. Tonight we gonna dance in the moonlight. Drop in our lashes on the floor. Hair flip flip, made you look twice. Touch me, touch me, me amor. All this spicy melts my icy edges. Baby for sure. Tonight we gonna dance in the moonlight. And then we gonna do it some more. First of all, I don't understand how an entire team of people was needed to write these lyrics. Second, is there anything in that song that remotely alludes to Me Too movement or an abusive partner? The lyrics make it very clear that the singer is having super sexy fun with El Diablo, and that her mood is ta taco tamale. I'm not quite sure what that means, but I assume that it's positive. Also, the video does not contain any references to any kind of relationship neither. In fact, there's nearly nothing worth analyzing in that video. Except for the worst product placement I've ever seen. As the singer praises the devil, we suddenly see some fine head and shoulders products. Because if there's one thing that the devil doesn't like, it's dandruff. Uh, Elena, there's no running water around you. You'll basically be standing in a black void with a handful of shampoo. Towards the end of the video, some guys, who appear to be painted black, creep towards the singer. This screenshot shows the men lift up Helena as she poses in a Baphomet style as above so below sign. 
I'm not sure what these men are supposed to represent and why they're painted black. However, as we watch this perplexing scene, we hear children in the background chanting repeatedly I love El Diablo. That's probably what caused some people to say. That's it. I'm going out to protest this crap. But first, let me grab the largest crucifix I can find. This is a photo of a protester, holds a cross outside Cyprus's national broadcasting building during a protest in Nicosia, Cyprus on March 6. The release of El Diablo sparked outrage and controversy in Cyprus due to its satanic meaning. Dozens of Orthodox Christian faithful held up wooden crosses and sang church hymns outside of Cyprus's state broadcaster on Saturday to demand the withdrawal of the country's controversial entry for the Eurovision Song Contest, titled El Diablo, that they say promotes satanic worship. Some of the protesters, including families, held up placards reading in Greek, We're protesting peacefully, no to El Diablo, repent and return to Christ and Christ saves, Diablo kills. The broadcaster and the singer of the song insist it has been misinterpreted, and the song is actually about an abusive relationship between two lovers. The protest came several days after the powerful Orthodox Church called for the withdrawal of the song that it said mocked the country's moral foundations by advocating our surrender to the devil and promoting his worship. The Holy Synod, the Church's highest decision-making body, said in a statement that the song essentially praises the fatalistic submission of humans to the devil's authority and urged the state broadcaster to replace it with one that expresses our history, culture, traditions and our claims. This is a photo of a protester, holds a sign that says, the Satanists do not represent us. This photo shows protesters gather to protest outside of Cyprus's national broadcasting building. The broadcaster and the Cypriot government responded to the controversy by fully backing the song. The state broadcaster insisted that the entry won't be withdrawn, but its board chairman, Andreas Frangos, conceded that organizers should have done a better job explaining the core message of the song, whose lyrics include, I gave my heart to El Diablo, because he tells me I'm his angel. Even the Cypriot government waded into the controversy, with presidential spokesman Victoras Papadopoulos, saying that although the views of dissenters are respected, the government cannot quash freedom of expression. The government fully respects creative intellectual and artistic freedom that cannot be misinterpreted or limited because of a song's title, and unnecessary dimension should not be attributed, Papadopoulos said in a written statement. The song's performer, Greek artist, Elena Tsagrinu, said that the song is about a woman who cries out for help, after falling for a bad boy known as El Diablo, and coming to identify and bond with her abuser. Tsagrinu insisted that any other interpretation is unfounded. The song sends a strong message, one against any form of abuse, such as the one conveyed in El Diablo, Tsagrinu told the Associated Press in a written statement, in these Me Too movement times, that message is extremely relevant and can be felt not only in Cyprus, but also across Europe and beyond. Reread the lyrics and tell me where there's a cry for help and a strong message against abuse. Because all I got from that song is Taco Tamale. In the end, it is yet another basic pop song that tries to make Satanism appear cool, fun and sexy. El Diablo was written by a group of industry veterans that are not from Cyprus. The song was imported there, and Elena Tsagrinu was chosen to perform it. Furthermore, I suspect that Cyprus was selected specifically because the Orthodox Church is highly influential in that area. In other words, this is about the occult elite poking and prodding pockets of Christianity around the world. This controversy proves that the elite's agenda is not only reserved for international superstars, Local and regional celebrities are also targeted to make sure that every single market around the world is tainted by this agenda. And when people ask for a song that actually represents them, this is the response they get from local media and government. I love El Diablo. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. 
apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video.